All right, this is part two of a multi-part series that I'm doing on putting together a compost trommel for a worm compost operation. And what you see is two bike rims with a screen between them and a rim in the middle that I'm using as a drive wheel. This was my first attempt at re-spoking that drive wheel. And basically what I was using was a pattern that I noticed in the spokes where these two spokes basically form this angle, this very distinctive angle that you're seeing here, sort of forms a V pattern. And I noticed that these spokes were five positions apart from each other on the spindle. So using that pattern, I decided to put together put the spokes on the wheel and this was a very slow painstaking process. The spokes are much larger than the trommel so you have to bend the spokes in funny ways to try and get them through the screen to be able to place them in the holes on the wheel that they pass through. I kept having to go back to the wheel, the wheel that you see in the background there to check to make sure I was doing this correctly and getting things in the right position. What I noticed was that there's two sets of holes for the spokes to pass through. There's holes that are offset to the left and offset to the right. And the holes that are offset to the left will pass through the, sp the left side of the spindle that you're seeing in the middle. The holes that are offset to the right, the spokes will pass through the part of the spindle that's on the right. So this is what it looked like to feed those spokes through. Very awkward. So that's one. Then I had to count five forward to figure out where the next spoke should be to be able to form that V angle that I referenced earlier in the video. And this turned out to be very challenging, so I was constantly going back to the reference wheel. I was taking measurements. Here I was measuring the angle to try and get the angle just right between those two spokes. At one point, I was doing some math to calculate what part of the trommel mesh that the spoke needed to pass through. taking repeated measurements, trying to get measurements that were just right and precise enough to be able to calculate these um, awkward angles and also count how many squares on the wire mesh needed to be between each spoke so that they would pass through the, the mesh and the wheel at just in just the right positions. Pulling out all the stops really. And so finally what really made this work for me was that I noticed another pattern in the spokes. I noticed that in addition to having the V pattern, there's also a set of spokes that are parallel to each other or close to parallel to each other. And I noticed that those are seven positions apart on the spindle. So from here, if you count seven forward, you get this next spoke that's basically parallel. And these spokes are on the same side of the wheel. They're on the near side of the wheel, so they go through the near side of the spindle. Those are on different sides. Those two spokes are on different sides. That one's on the far side. These two are on the near side. So basically what we found was two spokes that were right next to each other on the same side. So you count seven forward, then if you count five back, you get the next spoke 
on the near side. Notice that all three of these spokes I'm pointing out here are on the near side of the wheel. And so those are all basically in the same sequence. They're, it's one, two, three, all on the near side of the wheel. And notice that that third spoke that I'm pointing out there is the spoke at the angle, that distinctive V angle that we talked about before. So notice it's five apart from that spoke that was parallel to the first. So these two are parallel to each other, and then this one is five apart from the second parallel spoke. Then if you count seven from that one, you get the next spoke on the near side. So there's one, two, three, four spokes that are on the near side. And so if you do that all the way around, then you can start to put this thing together. So here's the result. You can see both the parallel spokes as well as the spokes that are at that distinctive V angle. And that's what finally allowed me to get this thing set up properly. And this is the result here. It worked just like I hoped it would. And once I put this thing together, it spun beautifully. It drove the trommel beautifully. So the next part of this will be putting an electric motor on this so that it will turn automatically and it won't be one person turning the trommel and another person feeding the compost in. So look forward to that in the next video.